Okay, so this is just a quick video looking at a safe isolation procedure for a single phase consumer unit. This is actually just on a, a little test rig, which is uh, inside my garage. You can see uh, this is a little consumer unit we've got. There's two uh, miniature circuit breakers here and uh, an RCD. First miniature circuit breaker is six amps. You can see it's uh, on here by the little red indicator. Um, we've got a 32 amp breaker next to it for the um, socket and this one's for the, the lights and this is just a 40 amp uh, RCD protecting both of these circuits. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can see here that the circuit breaker's on, little red indicator. So what we'll do is we'll just flick that off um, and flick the 32 amp off as well and then the RCD. Um, this is just removing any load that may have been on the system. Close that off, pull the cover off. I'd already undone the screws just to make it a little bit easier. Um, you don't want a video of uh, me unscrewing covers. Okay, grab hold of your locking device, your lock off device. Fix it onto your breaker. All of your lock off devices are slightly different depending on which breaker you've got or whether it's a, a double pole switch, uh, switch disconnector um, or RCD or a circuit breaker. They're all slightly different. So you just have to select the right one um, that fits your device. So that's safely locked off. Um, what you should do now actually is fit this um, with the tag and the lock. If I do that right now, it's going to get in the way of everything underneath and you won't you won't see it all. So I'll leave that off for now, but that's what you should do. You should actually lock that off now. Um, but for the purposes of the video, uh, we'll add that later. So now pick up your um, voltage indicator. This one happens to be a TIS-851, so a Test Instrument Solutions um, voltage indicator. Um, best thing to do, give it a check over first, make sure there's no damage to any of the leads. Um, have a look, make sure the probes are all in good order, just to make sure you don't get any, uh, um, worst case scenario, you get a shock, um, uh, or the test instrument's not functioning correctly and giving you a, a false reading, bad reading. Um, your leads as well should be GS38 leads. Um, if you buy anything new now, it pretty much all will be. So, okay, let's um, click that one together. It just tells me there's continuity. So it's these two lights here, there's continuity, red and green. If I hit this button here, this actually tests all of the, um, all of the LED lights which are in here just to tell me that everything's functioning correctly. I want to short it out, there we go. So all the lights are lighting up, runs all the way up to 690 volts there. So this is working fine. All the leads are in good order. Um, I'm happy to go ahead and uh, start the tests. So we'll go onto the CPC, onto the neutral. And you can see there's an audible, uh, you can hear that, uh, an audible bleep there. That's just telling me there's a continuity between the CPC and the neutral. That's because I'm on a TNCS system here. Um, not going to go into TNCS systems in this video, um, but look up maybe John Ward or somebody like that. John Ward's got some good videos on um, the different different types of uh, distribution um, systems. Okay, so back onto the CPC, onto the line, and you should be able to make out that this um, has gone up to two, around 248, 249 volts there, and the LEDs have lit up to 230. So off of the line conductor, off of the CPC. So we've proved now that this incoming side of this RCD is indeed live. We isolated that earlier. So what we'll do now, just to prove that this side is dead, which feeds all of these circuits through the circuit breakers and out into the circuits, which would be within your home. So we'll prove this side of the RCD is dead now. So we'll go back onto the CPC, onto the neutral, and see now we have no audible bleep. That's because there's no connection between the neutral and the CPC. Off the neutral, off the CPC, drop back on again the CPC, back onto the line, 
again there's nothing so there's, it's proving this is dead and um, just for final test onto the line neutral and there's nothing there so all of this bus bar at the bottom here is now isolated as are these circuits uh, going this way just to prove that nothing has happened uh, the voltage test has gone faulty or anything like that we just go back on to CPC again onto neutral there's our uh, audible bleep again that tells us we have that connection because of the TNCS system off of the CPC go back on again onto the line 230 volts 240 volts go and it's the same yeah so we can see there now we've just proved that nothing's happened to this uh, voltage tester and that it's still working correctly and now all we need to do is just add our lock Close it, lock it off, put your key in your back pocket or in your pocket somewhere, keep it safe on your person. Um, on the tag itself, add your um, phone number, add your name um, and just leave it on there. Make sure that people can contact you. And there it is, that system is now uh, safely isolated. Of course, these the incoming side of the RCD here is still live every outgoing circuit on this consumer unit is now dead ideally what you could do is find the source for the rcd the incoming side of the rcd and isolate that in the ideal situation in most instances in a lot of houses you won't be able to do that a lot of them don't have a switch disconnected where you can uh, isolate the supply um, but that's it so that's a little short video um, hope you liked it if you did, just please click uh, subscribe or hit the like button. And um, yeah, I'll try and put a few more together. Thanks a lot.